Imagine a sweet old lady sitting on a rocking chair and knitting Christmas sweaters for her grandchildren. Would it ever occur to you that such a sweet grandmother could murder several members of her own family simply because she couldn't get along with them or she wanted to collect their life insurances? Could you ever believe that this granny was knitting a sweater for the grandchild she was planning to kill? Perhaps not, but wait till you hear the story of Nanny Das or the giggling granny. Nanny Das was born to a family of farmers in 1905 in Alabama. All five of the children were forced to quit a school and help in the family farm. Das's family was very strict. She wasn't allowed to befriend boys or go on dates. So she started to fantasize about unrealistic romantic situations and frequently busied herself with reading Lonely Heart section love magazines. When Das was 16, she met a man named Charlie Braggs, who was her co-worker. Das desperately wanted to leave her abusive family behind, so she agreed to marry Braggs only after knowing him for four months. Das and her husband moved in with her mother-in-law, but turns out that her mother-in-law was no better than her own abusive family. Perhaps it was her mother-in-law's behavior that turned Das into a crazy woman given her murderous spree started soon after that. In 1927, Das gave birth to her fourth child with Braggs, but two of her previous children died under suspicious circumstances. Bragg suspected that Doss had poisoned them. So the two divorced and Braggs took his oldest daughter Melvina with him and Doss returned back to reading Lonely Heart section in the magazines to find a new love. Sometime later, Doss and her second husband Robert Harrelson met and married, but she soon realized that Harrelson was not the romantic man she would wanted. He was drunk and in debt. But quite strangely, the marriage was somehow able to last for 16 years until his death in 1945. Harrelson's death was dismissed as food poisoning and Doss went on to find herself yet another husband. Meanwhile, two of Doss's grandchildren died mysteriously while under her care. Within a few months, Doss collected an insurance of $500. In addition to the insurance she collected from Harrelson's death, she bought herself a plot of land near Jacksonville and married yet another man named Arlie Lanning who wouldn't live past two years of his marriage to Doss. Soon after his death, Doss married another man named Richard Morton, who consistently cheated on her. Incidentally, Doss's mother and sister died soon after coming in contact with her, and now it was time for Doss's cheating husband to be punished for his infidelity. After Morton's death, Doss married a man called Samuel, her fifth and last husband, who seemed like a good man, but his only fatal flaw was that he was boring and strict. He did not want Doss to read those love magazines she was so fond of, and Doss wouldn't have it. Doss poisoned her fifth husband, sending him to a month in hospital. He recovered and returned back home, however, he died after a few days and again, incidentally, Doss was going to receive two life insurance benefits. The doctor who treated Samuel Doss got suspicious and asked for an autopsy to be done on his body. The autopsy revealed a large amount of arsenic in his body and Doss was finally arrested in 1954. She confessed to murdering members of her family, but she seemed happy to have her 15 minutes of ill-earned fame. She often joked about her dead husbands and how she killed them, but the courtroom failed to see the humor and sentenced her to a life in prison. She died in Oklahoma State Penitentiary in 1963.